because he works in the yard at the big station. He loves playing jokes, but they can get him into trouble. One morning, he was very cheeky indeed. Beep, beep. Hurry up, Gordon. The train's ready. Gordon thought he was late. Ha, 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 laughed Percy and showed him a train of dirty coal cars. Gordon thought how to get back at Percy for teasing him. Next, it was James's turn. Stay in the shed today, James. Sir Topham Hatt will come and see you. Ah, thought James. Sir Topham Hatt knows I'm a fine engine. He wants me to pull a special train. James's driver and fireman could not make him move. Other engines grumbled dreadfully. They had to do James's work as well as their own. At last, the inspector arrived. Show a wheel, James. You can't stay here all day. Sir Topham had told me to stay here. He sent a message this morning. He did not. How could he? He's away for a week. Oh, said James. Oh, where's Percy? Percy had wisely disappeared. When Sir Topham had come back, he was cross with James and Percy for causing so much trouble. But the very next day, Percy was still being cheeky. I say, you engines, I'm to take some freight cars to Thomas's Junction. Sir Topham Hatt chose me especially. He must know I'm a really useful engine. More likely, he wants you out of the way, grunted James. Gordon looked across to James. They were going to play a trick on Percy. James and I were just speaking about signals at the junction. We can't be too careful about signals, but then I needn't say that to a really useful engine like you, Percy. Percy felt flattered. We had spoken of backing signals, put in James. They need extra special care, you know. Would you like me to explain? No, thank you, James, said Percy. I know all about it. The driver laughed and explained. Oh dear, said Percy. Let's start quickly before they see us. He was too late. Gordon saw everything. That night, the big engines talked about signals. The subject was funny. Percy thought they were being very silly. 